Anonymous reviews. Go down at the bottom, subscribe, please. I don't get free gear. I do this out of my own pocket so you guys can get a good review. Today, we are doing a review on the Loma gear from Rival. Now, uh, I got the headgear and I got the gloves. Now, let's start. I got this on Friday. I ordered them and I had them by Monday. No extra shipping, no extra, you know, two-day or three-day air. I give the shipping that they gave me and I had it here that quick. Check this out. This is how they came in a cool little bag. Nice presentation. It was, a, it was a nice little surprise. All right. Now check this out. Now they say this isn't real leather. It smells like real leather. It feels like real leather. But I am fooled. They say do not use these right away. They say use it for 10, 20 rounds of mitts or bags so they break in a little bit. Um, they don't feel that super tight, like not to use them that way. But hey, they made it. They know that they know the deal. These clothes are awesome, man. I was watching the fight. Loma was wearing these on uh, Saturday night, but he was wearing the opposite yellow with uh, blue. I have the blue with the yellow. Um, but I think I'll still box like Loma when I wear these. I'm hoping, you know. Um, they are cool looking gloves. Very cool looking gloves. Um, the inside of these gloves feel nice and tight. They have a cloth lining. Uh, I think it's going to hold the sweat a little more. Uh, that's the only thing I, it feels comfortable, but I feel like it's going to hold the sweat a little too much with the cloth, but we'll find that out. Um, the bar is, is nice. It's not super aggressive like my other gloves, but uh, you can feel the grip bar in there. Um, you can, um, feel a nice glove. I think these gloves and fly gloves are meant for guys with smaller hands like me. I think the, the winning, the Sebas, um, other gloves I've wore feel like they're a man for guys with big hands. I like a glove that's tight and it feels like it's a part of my hand. When I put my winning on, they're a great glove. Love the glove, but they feel like, um, like when I put my hand in there, I can move it around a lot. Where compared to these, I don't have much, much room to move around. These gloves are about 260 something dollars. I think they are. Um, you know, a little more on the expensive. They have a RS100 series, and I think they're a little cheaper. They got a little more fancy, but it does not have the Loma name on it. If you want to be a great boxer, you got to wear Loma because you're going to box just like them. Just like them. So, uh, yeah, guys, if you're a big fan of Loma, like I am, go get a pair. Support your man. Now, the headgear. I bought this headgear so I could match the gloves. So I can look cool and um, I can miss shots like him if I have this on. Now these headgears are a little wider than your normal um, headgear. I have a fighting headgear that's a little shorter but I can't see out of my corner of my eyes very well with it. This is a little more open but when I tried it on I noticed this is right on my nose but I feel like um, I'm probably going to still feel the shot on my nose compared to the other one hides a lot of shots to my nose. So we're going to find that out when I try it out today. Maybe uh, when I go to the gym, I'll try it out today. Um, the back looks like this, a little more tighter. You can adjust the top. You know, overall, this feels really good. This is also the same material as that. It's not supposed to be leather, but they claim it's going to last longer. You know, um, yeah, check it out, guys. This is this is awesome. If you guys want any questions on about the glove or if there's anything that I'm not answering or I'm not telling you, please go to the bottom and tell me. And I will uh, tell you more about it if you need to be known, all right? Go down at the bottom, subscribe, guys, please. Thanks.